Hi guys, how are we? Welcome back to another video from the Ultimate Blind Master channel. Before I do continue, please make sure to like, share and also subscribe so you don't miss any a single upload. So in today's video, um, I'm going to be doing a product review and this is going to be on the Retivis RT24 PMR446 two-way radio. Now, um... These radios, oh, sorry guys, I'm just sorting my chair out. These radios are not an unboxing. An unboxing, it's a straight out the box review because I've had these radios for a while now and I thought, because I've not reviewed them, I thought maybe why not to take today's option to sit down and review them for you. Um, so yeah, um, so these radio cost £25. Um, they are professional pair of radios um and yeah you'll get um if you're lucky enough you might get next day delivery on amazon so what i'll do is i'll get what i need to show you guys and we'll get on with it from there so unfortunately i only have one charging dot because i think i've seemed to have lost the other one so i'll have to find it at some point So, now that we have nearly everything except one charging dock down. <laughs> um, so, in terms of the radio, 16 channels. It's got PMR446, license free radio, £25. And to be honest, for £25, guys, if you look at this thing, it's a really good price. Now, one thing I like about Retivis is that their price range on certain radios is really good. Motorola, shame on them, because like the XT420 they have, it's exactly the same thing as the Retivis RT648. The RT648 is much bigger. The Motorola has got two buttons on the side, which which are programmable. Um, they can also specialise in program programming. I know TD Captain, he done a bit of a demo on something, I just had to program a bit of the radio. Um, and yeah, it's just a bit stupid as to why they've clearly got it over about one hundred and something pound or five hundred and twelve pound for a quadruple pack. So that's why. But since, I'm, as you guys know, I'm, I've always been a Retivis fan. Um, as to because I'm quite limited on what I can use because of the way radios are. Some they're not very accessible nowadays. So I'm having to use radios without a screen that talk. Um, and I feel that Retivis is really the main company that I've come across that do a lot of these. Motorola do the XT420, I don't have to do any more, but yeah, I, I just like Retivis's radios. Price is nice, good build quality, and this radio is actually not big, not too small, but it's a middle-sized radio. It's like a nice sit-in-the-hand radio, it's a medium-sized radio, I think. More closer, if, if you had to choose between the big and small, it isn't a big radio, it's just pretty decent-sized radio. Standard-sized, let's just say. Not heavy, but it's thick. So for £25, in the box you'd normally get two earpieces, one for each radio, two radios and two charging docks, as well as the typical instruction manual, which I did not need. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so what I'll do, I'll show you the radio. Crap. So here's one radio. Let's take the battery out. So before I do take the battery out, it's a lithium-on battery. I think 1,200 milliamp, milliamp power. So, on the front of the radio, right at the front, you have the long antenna. Oh, sorry. On the side, if we go a bit below, if we go after the antenna, you have, I think this is the logo of Retivis at the top, I don't know. And you also have a nice, decent speaker mic, where the audio app comes out of. Now, you also have the PTT push to talk on the now, 
right side of the radio. Nice, nice tick click, a bit rubbery. On the left side of the radio, if I'm not wrong, is the earpiece jack. It's either on the left or on the right, below the push to talk, where the little slip is, I'm not sure. If you guys do know, you can put it in the comments down below. Um, on the back, standard back, uh, belt clip. On the front, right on the back of the, just at the edge, is a little hinge. And of course, if we pull the hinge out, with my other hand, other hand holding the belt clip just to give my just support, just to best support the radio. You have this little slim, lightweight battery. And of course, in the back, obviously, I'll just push the belt clip in. You can see all that metal housing of the radio. They do stand up nicely as well. Um, obviously, but it has a lot more support with the battery. Let's put the battery back in. Actually, we might need the radio, but the battery, because with it comes the charging dock. Small charging cradle. With the little hinges. Same thing as the six white but it's a total it's a much smaller cradle and it's a different shape different material as well it feels more plasticky and wooden type i don't know it feels very plasticky very plastic very lightweight and really small it's not thick dock it's not wide it's very narrow so there's your dock at the front all the way you have the wire at the back or some typical little USB charger which can go to any USB plug which includes your iPhone possibly an Android plug a Samsung plug if you want yeah I know it can it, this can go to the brown nut touch use plugs the touch plus on the brown nut touch the charger that come with them this can fit into that because that is a standard Android plug and of course this isn't a radio that goes into the dock as you guys can see you have to I mean, even if I put the battery back in, it's not a radio that goes in the dock. So what Reddit must have kindly decided to do, make it a tiny bit complicated, but I'm going to take the battery out and put it into the dock, which I can't stand. Now, these, this bit with the squarey rectangular type thing, bump that's not the way to put the battery in you want to put the battery in where if you guys can see that little slip so that the bump is facing up and that the slip is facing down so have we just dropped it pause recording button double tap to activate there it is there's some charge and dock so with the line going down of course That's it. Flips in. Sitting there nicely. I'm not a fan because it's wobbly and it can easily come out because if you knock it off as well. I know like tipping it over obviously wasn't the best demo to show you guys, but look, if I put this back in. Um if my hand was there, if I am because I'm prone to knocking things over. People, anyone remember Dasher? <laughs> look, so if I was to accidentally knock this over. It's just taking the whole battery out. So it's not really an ideal place to charge this on the desk. So, that's the dock and the whole radio out of the way. Let's put the battery back in. And we'll turn it on and we'll give you guys a bit of a demo. Now, I can't do an order test with the other RT24 because the battery's dead. Um, but I think... Yeah, this one's the one with the, where the battery's gone, so we'll grab out the RT24, which is exactly the same. There you go, just to prove it to you. Exactly the same radio. See ya.
Stand up nicely as well. Look at that, stand up nicely. Now, let's just turn it on and I'll show you guys how good the output power is. As much the voice audio, the voice announcer is, it's better than the RT648. Of course, yes, you have your volume on and off, slash, it says volume, so if you turn it to your right, they say, on the, before we turn it on guys, on the front also you have two buttons, where my index finger is touching, my left index finger, right at the beginning of the radio, on the left, is the on and off, slash volume, so it's volume up and down and on and off, and on the right, of course, is the channel dial, it goes all the way from 1 to 16, so to turn it on, I'm going to twist the dial closer to me, which is on the left-hand side, and I'm going to turn it to the right. And you'll, you'll hear a click, and you'll hear a da-da-da, and it will say the channel number. Some do power, power on, some say channel mode, I don't know what, but this one says just the same. Just You turn it on, da-da-da, like the 648, it'll say the channel number. So, tell you what, let's just set the channel number, and let's turn it on. One. So I don't have to have the radio on. I could just set the channel number automatically with what I wanted to do. And when it turned on, it detected the channel number straight away. So let's twist the dial to the right, the channel dial. So you guys can see what's going to be happening. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. And back the other way. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. So as you guys get the idea, so let's just twist it all the way back to 16. 9, 15, 16. Of course, there you go. So that's it really. That's all this to the radio. It's just a pick up and simple to use radio. Now, in terms of when I mentioned professional use of this radio, um... Like I mentioned in my last video, this is not an outdoor use radio unless the weather is absolutely brilliant. It's dry because this is not a waterproof radio, of course. Um, unlike this beast, oof, which is a waterproof radio, the RT24 isn't. So, you can use it outdoors, but the weather must be dry. But if you ask me, outdoors, yes, only if the weather is dry. But mostly, this is an indoor type radio, really. It can be used outdoors, but like I said, it can be used indoors and outdoors, but outdoors make sure the weather is good. But overall, if you're going to use this radio as professionally, you can either use it as a family radio. I remember one of the um, guys reviewing this said you can use this for security. I'm not too sure because I think when you're using security for security purposes, PMR isn't the route to go down because, I mean, when I went up to the James Watt, um, I know they had an RT85, which would be a lot more ideal. He just put it in my hand and I go, can I have a feel? And he goes, yeah, it's all right, sure. Kindly the security guard let me have a feel. And I just remember the RT24 straight away. And it's it's pretty light. It's it's, it's quite light. Teeny bit heavy, I think about 5% heavy, but it's got a teeny bit of weight to it. Not a, it's only got about, I would say about 2% weight to it. But it is a pretty, it's a light radio. Um, I remember just feeling that. It's got a tiny bit of weight, I'd say. Very, 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 that's about 1% weight, or like 2%. Not light, 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 light. It's, very, it's quite light, it's very light, but it's got a tiny bit of weight, let's say. You guys know what I mean. Um, and I remember feeling the RT24 and I have the radio in my hand, and I was like, is that a Retivis? And he's like, oh, let's have a look. He's like, yeah, it's, it's, it actually is, it's an RT85. I was like, well, I've got a pair of RT24s at home, that's how I guessed. So it's not used for security, it can't be used for security, in my opinion. Um, because don't forget, security is very high priority. Uncle stop messing about and rushing guards around, and God forbid a serious emergency is happening. It 
it's ended in a bad result because of this mess. But I think if you're in the shop, if you're working in the shopping centre, or you know, if you're, let's say, um, an indoor business, probably something like I suppose, if you're just in a factory, if you just need something to use. As long as your work's not rough, as long as like if you're just like making boxes or depending on the type of surroundings you're going to be at, then yes, this radio you could use. So, for example, in a shopping center, I wouldn't say factory. Um, I suppose if you're in a real, if you're in a large retail store um, like Argus or if you're in Curry's, you want to use this around. Yeah, by all means, use it, um, but not in factory work or in any work that's going to involve a lot of rough terrain. Because, yes, it's thick, but it's not designed for that type of level. Um, well, probably it is. I'm not sure. Probably it can be. I've never, I've never tested it, but uh, probably it could be. I mean, I'm not sure. Probably you could. I mean, for the, those of you who probably know more about this than me, um, correct me in the comments down below if you are using this for any other stuff. You know, let me know your thoughts, guys. Like, what's your experience on these radios? Um, but, yeah, apart from that, this can also be used for family use as well. Uh, if you're going camping or if you're, on a, if you're in a car or if you're doing a bit of bike riding outside in good weather, then yeah, by all means, talk to each other. Don't use it on boats, please. <laughs> but cool. So yeah, that's it really. That is all I have on today's review of the Retivis RT24PMR446 radio. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to like, share and also subscribe so you don't miss anything. By the way, if you do want to go and check out a review of the RT27s, then that's over on the Chappers Tech and Entertainment um, unit or the centre. <laughs> Thumbs up to you, mate. Give him a shout out. Go and check him out. Go and check all his CTE shorts. I don't know which one he's done. I can't remember the last one he was telling me yesterday on the phone. Uh, but you go and check out his channel and the review of the Retivis RT. 27 PMR 446 Radio that we reviewed of his are on his channel, but yes, on this one you've got the 24 and the RT648. Um, if he does allow me to put his video on my channel as well, I wouldn't mind doing that, but I think that's something I'll have to ask him for you. But apart from that, guys, this, this concludes today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, also share, subscribe. Turn, your turn on your notifications but apart from that guys I'll see you in the next one Stop. Take. Stop.